Hello everyone, it's your girl Raina Mo, and welcome to Raina Mo's DIYing Designs. Today our inspiration is still the Sweet 16 and I'm going to create the tall centerpiece and then my next video will be the, small, the short centerpiece and then the following video will be everything completed with a complete tablescape. So let's go ahead and get started. Almost all of these uh, items that I'm going to be using came from the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using different colored feathers to decorate masks. So the colors are teal and silver. So this is a silver gray feathers. These feathers kind of have the teal color in them. Teal is a beautiful color, but there's so many variations of it. And a lot of times when you're looking for teal, the stores have turquoise or a cerulean blue, which is not teal. But the best way to, to know if your color is teal, look at what God has done. Peacocks. The beautiful blue that you find in the peacock feather, that is actually teal. So these are pheasant feathers, but it's pretty close, so I'm using these. And then I have some extra fancy feathers that I'm going to actually use as well. I got some craft sticks from the Dollar Tree and then I was blessed to find these masks at a Dollar Tree that I don't frequent at all. It's actually many miles away that I was uh, visiting family and uh, stopped at this Dollar Tree on the way home and picked these up. So this actually has a color that we can call teal in it along with a little bit of purple and and gold true Mardi Gras colors and then this one has some pink in it and I'm not going to um, disrupt these masks that are already made but I am with the feathers that I've purchased add a few of these to them to tone some of the brightness down and still make it blend uh, because it's a sweet 16 nobody's going to want to wear the same mask anyway so this is just to give you ideas if you want your masks all teal all silver all teal and silver then you're more than welcome to go ahead and create that look my looks going to be a little bit different and also at that Dollar Tree, I found these beautiful fans. Look at that, really pretty. And so I'm gonna incorporate these into the look of that centerpiece, that tall centerpiece. But they had them in all different colors. They even had some with white bases, but this is beautiful black and pink, and they had this emerald green. And of course they had black, so I had to get the black. I was hoping that they had a white one, but they didn't. And there's sequence in that. I don't know if you can see that to appreciate it, but it's very, very beautiful. So I'm gonna also incorporate this into the look of that centerpiece. So the first thing that I wanna do is go ahead and take the masks and I'm going to apply feathers with hot glue to it to change the look of the mask and when I come back I'll show you what that looks like. Okay everyone so I have gone ahead and made some improvements to the masks and I have added the teal colored feathers as well as some brown pheasant feathers and some black ones and the silvery gray ones in order to make it more along the color theme of the the Sweet 16. But keep in mind, you can do whatever you want. If you want to start off with plain masks that you pick up at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want to revamp all of the yellow flowers, remove them and put them with different colored flowers, then you can go ahead and do that as well. The sky's the limit to how you want to design your masks. But seeing as how these are actually some really good, nice masks uh, with feathers from Dollar Tree, I just embellished a little bit with the flowers that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. So since I'm happy with these, I'm going to go ahead and set those aside. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and build my centerpiece. Now, as you know, all my glass pieces come from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be using the 9-inch dinner plate. But instead of inverting it like this, 
with the other tutorials that I've done that you've seen, I'm actually going to use it like this. And the reason that I'm going to make the base inverted uh, the proper way is because I plan on decorating with beads at the bottom so that the kids can get beaded necklaces from the bottom so it adds to the center piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it together with hot glue because this is just for demonstration purposes. But remember, always use epoxy when you're going to affix glass pieces together. You can use E6000, but in my experience with E6000, it still comes apart. When I use epoxy, it stays together. So if you want to go ahead and watch me, I'm going to go ahead and put together this, um, one, two, three, this five piece glass tall centerpiece. And please be careful that you don't burn yourself. I also noticed at the Dollar Tree that they are changing um, who makes their candlesticks. Years ago, I know they were by Libby. Now, the name that's on it, I don't recognize. And I'm noticing that even though the pieces are fluted, um, they don't match up 100% anymore. So that's something that you want to look out for. Make sure that you're getting the ones from the same manufacturer because it, uh, it does make a difference, okay? So now that I have connected all of the glass for the centerpiece, I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side and let that dry. And then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step where I'm going to go ahead and put all of this look together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is work on the arrangement that's going to go inside the bowl. And for that, I'm going to use styrofoam block that I got from the Dollar Tree and this particular ribbon. I don't remember exactly where I got it from. I think I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby, but it's black and silver and I just thought it was so pretty. So I picked that up quite a while back and I'm going to utilize it in this particular tutorial. And what I'm going to do is wrap this around the foam so that we can cover it even though it's green. Now you could use push pins if you have them to cover the foam. Um, I'm going to use hot glue because that's what I have. Even tacks, if you happen to have like a uh, tax from the Dollar Tree, you could use that in this particular foam because this star foam is very hard. Like when you cut it, you have to use a knife and be very careful. It also has wired edges, so that's going to be helpful because you can pinch those edges to make sure that they stay flat against the foam. And I'm just going to run a line of glue to help the ribbon to adhere. I'll be picking that up. And then we come back to where we started. And so here, I'm just going to make a cut and then fold it over and glue it down.
Okay, so now that I have this covered, this portion here will be at the bottom of the vase. And so the top is what we'll be working with because this is what everybody will see. In that vase, we're gonna have some beads wrapped around the bottom. So this thin strip of foam, I'm not worried that it's exposed here to the side because that'll be covered over with some bead necklaces. So here at the top, what I'm gonna do is find my back, make sure that my back is facing outward so that people don't see it. But the seam, I've managed to get it pretty nice so um, it still would be appealing if someone was sitting uh, where they could see this towards the back. So I have adhered the popsicle sticks to all of the masks, the three masks that I'm using for this demonstration, and I spray painted them a silver color. And you'll notice I have placed some of the popsicle sticks askew and one popsicle stick straight up and down because this one will be in the center. Also, you'll notice on the back, these masks were designed so that they could be worn with the elastic band. I didn't want to cut the bands off because the kids that will use this, even though this is a centerpiece, you never know. Somebody may absentmindedly just take it off the, uh, the table and destroy the centerpiece because you know, sometimes children don't think. So what I've done is just kind of folded it together and put a little piece of scotch tape. So if they choose to wear it uh, over their head with the elastic, they can. If not, they can wear it with the popsicle stick and it's still gonna be nice. So this one is, okay, so that's my back. So while I'm working towards the front, this is the back of the arrangement. I am going to place at an angle this particular mask and then here is the second mask and I'm going to place that in the same line at an angle so that it looks like this. Now I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to secure it front and back. So that should be pretty well secure. You could also remove the masks after you've stuck them in, put some glue in the little hole that it makes and place them back. I'm not going to do that because I feel like um, it could weaken the styrofoam on the inside and the mask could possibly come out because it is hot glue. And then here is the center. Okay, so this particular mask, I would actually like for it to sit higher than these two. So what I would end up having to do with this particular mask is add another popsicle stick on this side and secure it actually to the other two masks. So that's what I'm gonna do and when I come back, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay everyone, so it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, so I just decided to go ahead and add the fan to the bottom of the centerpiece. Um, and how I did that was with the fan, it has this little metal ring. So I positioned it on the base the way that I wanted to. And then I just took the ring and I crimped it down to make it into a point. And then I inserted the point into the base and I hot glued all the way around that. Now, here in the back, um, I was having some technical difficulties, so you didn't get to see where I started, but I didn't finish. Uh, here in the back where it's green, I'm going to go ahead and lay the silver gold, uh, excuse me, silver gray feathers all along the base. And then I'll go back over it on the top with the smaller teal feathers so that all of the green on the top that would be seen will be covered. And 
I, this is looking really nice. Very, very nice. The only thing that I would change um, is to make that final executive decision about the band in the back because I can see the little black uh, cord through the eye slits. Um, but this is, this is looking really good, guys. So when I come back, I'll show you everything put together. So here is the final look. I've put all of the masquerade masks on the top inside styro uh, styrofoam. I've placed the fan, added some beads here for the fan to decorate it. Make sure you remove all of the webs from the hot glue. And at the bottom I've just placed uh, two different types of floral picks. This floral pick is a glittered peacock feather. And this floral pick is just very whimsical, but it was a beautiful color, so I just added that there along with the black, teal, and silver beads at the bottom at the base. So if the kids decide that they want to pull one and wear the necklace as well, then they can do that. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Click the notifications bell so that you'll know the next time I post a tutorial which will be shortly where I do the low centerpiece to put this three piece centerpiece to ensemble together for a sweet 16 and as always thank you and have a wonderful evening Merry Christmas sorry I interrupted I had to bye